Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Muhammad Kamal Hossein, content creator, Triangular Kamal Academy. Here we are going to discuss one of the most important topics for the students of standard 9 and 10, which is trigonometry from higher mathematics. From exercise 8.1, already we have done up to question number 10. Inshallah, today we are going to start here question number 11 to question number 13. Let's see the topic. SSC Higher Mathematics Chapter 8, Exercise 8.1, Trigonometry, Question Number 11. Dear students, here Question Number 11 is the totally different from the Question Number up to 10. This is the new format questions. So here, express in radian angle between minutes hand and hour hand of a clock when it is 10.30 a.m. The hints is given here. So now this information, the requirement is the angle between minute hand and hour hand when the time is 9.30 a.m. That means the requirement is you have to find the angle in between minute hand and hour hand of a clock when the time is 9.30 a.m. And then second requirement, we have to convert this angle into the radian. So now uh, let's see the diagram here. If we draw the diagram, the answer will be very clear to you. Hope this is the clock and, and this is the 12 o'clock and here six and this is three and this one is nine. So now draw a clock here. Uh, this is one, two, four and five, six, seven, eight, nine, this is 10 and this is 11. So now we will design here a clock, the time is 9.30. This is the center and this one is the minute hand for the 30, 9.30 and this is our hand. This is our hand at 9.30. I think this one is the middle of 9 and 10. This is our hand. This is minute hand. And the, this one is the second hand we can draw anywhere. Okay. Now, our question requirement, identify or find the measures of this angle when the time is 9.30 a.m. or p.m. So here, this is the clock. This is the clock which time is 9.30 a.m. Here our requirement is identify the angle in between our hand and minute hand when the time is 9.30 a.m. First of all, we have to identify how many spacing part in the clock here. If we count here 12 to 1, there are one spacing part, two spacing part, three spacing part, four and five. So there are total five spacing part in between 12 to 1. In the same way from 1 to 2, there are another five spacing part. So now if we count in the same way from 6 to 7, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spacing part. And then 7 to 8, there are another five spacing part. 8 to 9, there are another five spacing part. So from 6 to 9, there are five plus five plus five spacing part. So now here total 15 spacing part from 6 to 9 and 6 to 9. But here at the 9.30 a.m. if the minute hand will stay at the 6 and our hand will stay in between 9 and 10. That means in the middle position of 9 and 10. So here in the middle position means there are more 2.5 step more. So here, if we consider like this, our, our hand exactly is place will be in the between 9 and 10, in the middle position of 9 and 10. That means there 9 to this middle position, there are again 2.5 spacing part. So now in between minute hand and our hand, there are total 17.5 
five spacing part. Again, in 60 minutes, one minute hand, total complete 360 full rotation. So in the same way, we can say here, 60 spacing part, that means 60 minute total cover 360 degree. So now we can say at 9.30 a.m. minute hand and our hand makes 17.5 spacing part spacing part this is the first step of question number 11 here 60 spacing part spacing part create create 360 degree that means in the 60 minutes a minute hand total cover 360 degree that means 60 minutes means 60 spacing part each part consider as a one minute so 60 spacing part total complete the whole rotation of a circular path that means 60 spacing parts cover or create 360 degree so now one spacing part create 360 divided by 60 degree now at 9 30 am there are total 17.5 spacing part like 7 to 6 there are 5 7 to 8 there are 5 and 8 to 9 there are another 5 so 5 plus 5 plus 5 15 and in between uh, 9 and 10 the middle position is the clock hand so there are again 2.5 so total 17.5 spacing part so now 17.5 spacing part create 360 multiply 17.5 divided by 60 degree and by using calculator you will get here 105 degree which is the angle in between minute hand and hour hand at 9 30 am so this angle is 105 degree now according to the question requirement convert this angle into radian so now if we convert this angle into radian we will get here 105 multiply 5 by 180 because 1 degree is equal to 5 by 180 radian so 105 degree must be multiplied with pi by 180 radian so now uh, put the value of pi 105 multiply 3.1416 divided by 180 and this is radian so now by using calculator here we can write 105 multiply 3.1416 and then divided by 180 and result is 1.8326 radian and this is our answer that means at 9 30 am the angle between minute hand and hour hand is 1.8326 radian or 105 degree in the same way, we can identify or we can measure any angle in between minute hand and hour hand at any given time. So now, dear students, by using a shortcut method or using a formula, we can identify this angle easily. Or this is called the alternative method. Alternative method. This method basically used in HSC level or college level. So here we can write the formula direct angle is equals to 11 times of minute minus 60 times of hour 
and divided by 2 and this answer must be in degree so now if we do this math here 9 30 am that means hour is 9 9 is hour and 30 is minute so now apply here 11 multiply minute that means 30 minute minus 60 multiply hour here 60 multiply hour hour is 9 and then divided by divided by 2 and this is called the absolute value so now here the degree using calculator you will get here 210 minus divided by 2 210 divided by 2 degree so now here minus 105 degree so now this this symbols basically is called the absolute value that means always positive so now skip here negative so now right here 105 degree and this is the angle in between minute hand and hour hand at the time of 9.30 a.m. So now convert this answer according to the question requirement 105 multiply 5 by 180 and this is radian 180 radian. So by using calculator here you will get 1.8326 radian. So now directly you can apply this formula here. Okay, now we can practice one more maths like this. <coughs> Okay, now we can practice one more math like this. Find the angle between minute hand and hour hand at 11.30 am so now directly using formula we can find that theta is equals to 11 times of minute minus 60 times of hour divided by 2 so now here 11 multiply minute is 30 60 multiply hour is 11 then divided by 2 and this is the degree so here 330 minus 660 divided by 2 degree now right here uh, doing the calculation we will get here 330 divided by 2 and this is minus and degree so now doing the calculator we will get here minus 330 divided by 2 there is minus 165 degree so now this is the symbol of absolute value now skip the negative sign this is 165 degree at the time of 11 30 am the angle between minute hand and hour hand there is a limitations of this formula when the angle is reflex angle when the angle will be reflex angle that means in times of the angle is greater than 180 degree then we have to subtract this angle from 360 degree like this angle angle at 11 double zero am in between minute hand and hour hand so now if we find angle in between minute hand and hour hand at 11 30 or 11 am so now write the theta is equals to 11 times of minute minus 60 times of hour divided by 2 here minute is 0 at 11 30 or am 11 am or 11 pm minute is 0 and 11 multiply minute 60 multiply hour then divided by 2 this is degree so now 0 minus uh, 6 6 double 0 and divided by 2 here this is now degree so the answer is minus 3 3 0 degree so now skip here negative 
sign due to absolute value symbol. So now here 3, 3, 0 degree. But this angle is greater than 180 degree. So that which is reflex angle. So now angle in between minute hand and hour hand at 11 a.m. or p.m. must be 360 minus give here angle 330. So now here 360 minus this angle is 30 degree. This is 30 degree, which is our answer. So now condition is when the angle uh, in the this formula when the angle is greater than 180 degree, then final answer will be 360 degree minus this angle. So now, dear students, in by using this formula, easily you can identify or you can measure any types of angle within a short time. So I think also you can apply this formula in the creative part, no problem. Intermediate students always use this formula. So I think this formula is always applicable, no problem. So now here we will discuss the next question. So now let's see the next question, question number 12. A person jogging on a circular track at six kilometer per hour transverse a segment of path in 36 seconds, which subtends angle 60 degree at the center. Find the diameter of circular track. So first identify which informations are given here. The speed of the person is given here, which is six kilometer per hour. And at 36 seconds, he transverses a line segment which subtends angle 60 degree inside the center of the circle. And the requirement is find the diameter of the circular track. Suppose the person started his journey from A to and is completed his journey at the point B within 36 seconds. And this point A and point B together the arc AB subtends at the center of the circular path is 60 degree and here center is O. So now he travels A to B within 36 seconds and his speed is given here 6 km per hour. So one point you have to understand this time is given here in second and his speed given here km per hour. That's so why we have to convert his speed into meter per second. So now right here, this is a question number 12. We can start from here. One hour, one hour is equals to 60 minute is equals to 60 multiply, then again 60. Now it's converted as second. Second and this one is 360 second. Okay, now the length is given here in kilometer. So now find the time converted into second, definitely kilometer must be converted into meter. Six kilometer is equals to six multiply 1000. And the, now this is the meter because one kilometer is equals to 1000 meter. So six kilometer must be 6000 meter. So now, that means the speed is 6 km per hour. This means in one hour, the person goes 6 km. So in the same way, in 3600 seconds, the person goes 6 meter. Now, in 3600 second, the person person goes 6,000 meter. Now, in one second, the person goes 6,000 divided by 3,6,0 meter. So now in 36 seconds, he travels A to B. So now in 36 seconds, in 36 second, the person goes 6,000 
multiply 36 divided by 3600 and this is meter. So now 36 divided by 3600 and 100 divided by this one is 60. This is 60 meter. So in 36 seconds, the person goes 60 meters. So like now the length A to B is 60 meter because in 36 seconds, the person goes A to B, which is 60 meter. Now, let the person, let the person travel, travels R A B is equals to S unit. So here S means the distance he travels in 36 seconds, which is 60 meter. And subtended angles subtended angle at center is B O A is equals to theta is equals to 60 degree. This information is given in the question. The arc AB subtends angle 60 degree. So now here 60 degree you have to convert into the radian 60 multiply pi by 180 and this is now converted into radian. We know let the radius let radius of the circular path is equals to r meter we know we know s equals to r theta or here r equal to s by theta. So now put the value here. S means the arc 60 meter and the value of theta here 60 multiply divided by 180, 180 and this is now in meter. So now if we do calculation here 60 multiply 180 divided by 60 pi. So now 60 divided by 60, there are, this is meter, and now this is 180 divided by 3.1416, and this is meter. So now if we find 180, 180 divided by 3.1416, the result is, 57, 57.2956 meter. That means this is the radius of the circular track. Now, so radius of the circular path is equals to R equal to 57.2956 meter. According to the question, our requirement is diameter. Diameter of the circular circular path or circular track is two times of radius. So here radius is two into 57.2956, this is meter. Using calculator, the result is 
2 multiply 57.2956 and the result is 114 times of 5912 meter and this is our answer diameter of the circular track. So now first step uh, here if we see up to last here the first step we have to convert the speed meter into second from kilometer into hour. So now in 36 seconds, the person travel 60 meter, which is the value of S. An angle, subtense angle given here 60 degree is converted into the radian. So now by using S and theta, we can find the value of R, which is the radius. Now radius two times of radius, which is the value of diameter. So now let's see the next question. And this is the last question in the chapter, question number 13. Find the subtendence angle, a heel subtendence angle eight minutes at the point at a distance of 750 kilometer from the foot of the hill. Find the height of the hill. So here, if we consider suppose this one, Suppose this is a circle, this is a circle, and this is a this is a circle, and this is a hill. Just imagine this one, this is a hill. So now hill and this is circle now our requirement is find the height of the hill so we we will apply here the formula s equal to r theta that means s is the arc but the hill height is basically is the straight line when the circle is so large if we take the smallest arc from the circle basically it one looks like a straight line so now imagine that this hill is on the circle. This hill is on the circle. So now what we see here, the top point here, height, and this is the base. So now this is base is B and this is A. So now our requirement find the height of the hill. So here, this is the radius and center of the circle and now this center that height and this is the base together is make the angle is eight minute at the center or any point of the circle 750 kilometer from the foot of the hill and find the height of the hill that means height is arc s so now from this diagram, we can write here, let the height of hill B arc AB is equals to S kilometer. Subtense angle angle equals to theta is equals to AO B, which is eight minute. So now eight minute convert into radian. This is eight multiple eight. First eight minute you have to convert into degree, then degree into radian. Eight divided by 60, this one will be now degree. So now degree convert into the radian. So now radius given here R equal to 750 kilometer. So now using theta and R, we can find the length of AB or arc AB. 
we know as equal to r theta that means height of the hill is as and r is the radius theta is the subtend angle 750 multiply value of theta 8 by 60 multiply pi by 180 so now this is r is given here kilometer so s will be in kilometer by using calculator 750 multiply 8 multiply 3.1416 divided by 60 multiply 180 and this is meter so now using calculator here we can write 750 multiply 8 multiply 3.1416 and this is 18849.6 divided by 180 multiply 60 here yeah, this is 10800 and this is now meter so now 18849.6 9.6 divided by answer and this is 1.7453 kilometer and this this is the kilometer and the unit is given here kilometer so now if we convert this kilometer into meter this one will be 1.745 she multiplied 1000 now kilometer converted into meter there will be multiply 1000 and this is now 1745.3 meter and this is our answer height of the hill is 1745.3 meter also you can give answer here no problem there is no any requirement to convert the answer kilometer into meter but we see here 1.7453 kilometer you can give here answer or also you can convert your answer into the meter so dear students here the two step we have done this math first we have to convert this hill is so large and considering its base and top and that will make create a circle and which subtends, which subtends angle, angle at the center of the circuit, which is eight minute. And radius already given here, 750 kilometer, and our requirement is height of the hill, which is S here. So now using the formula step by step, we have shown here, the height of the hill is 1740, 5.3 meters so dear student this is up to question number 13 and exercise 8.1 done inshallah from next class we will start exercise 8.2 and if you have any question please let me know i will try to answer as far as you demand so dear students don't forget to subscribe my channel triangular kamal academy hope to see you all in the next classes wish you all the best assalamu alaikum warahmatullah